Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Um, today I've got to put this new screen into my uh, resin printer. I accidentally smashed it <laughs> when I was doing some stuff. So I got a new one. Thank you Watch Optimus for organising everything for me. Um, I've got a new one that I've got to put into this resin printer. It's the Hallett Marge Pro. So I'm going to go through that today and um, see if we can get it working. Hope so. <laughs> Okay, uh, before we get started, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and at the end of the uh, video, if you like it, just give it a thumbs up and a like. Uh, also down below, if you decide to buy anything from Creality or Sunroo, I do have affiliate links down below, and if you like the video and want to buy me a coffee, that would be much appreciated as well. Okay guys, let's get into it. Okay, so if we lift her up... Now all we need to do first is take off the, the pot here. So unscrew the line and lift it off. That's with the um, that plate in it. Now um, what it's got around it, and it comes with some spare ones. It's got spare stickers and stuff for you because that's what holds it in, I believe. So basically, if you just get a little knife and just lift up one edge. You should be able to just peel it off on the hope. One at the front. Oh yeah, okay. I'm just taking note of which ones go where because they are different shaped on the in this the stickers are different shapes, so we'll just get make sure we do the right ones when we put it back on. Okay, so these are what stops all the um, resin if you have a spill getting in underneath the screen and killing the electronics inside your printer. That's a bit of a mess at the back there. Okay, so now what we have, now I'll lift this one up a bit, so you can have a look. Okay guys, as you can see it's got four um, Allen keys, so I'll just get out my Allen. So what I'm using is um, one of these little tool kits that's got everything in it. Oh, they um, multi-bit screwdriver bit. So there's just these four screws to undo. And that will let you no doubt lift this little these little plates up here that hold the screen in place. So there's four of them. Two at the front, two at the back. I like that sort of come on. That sort of thing. I haven't done one of these before, so I'm just um, going by the seat of my pants. <laughs> None of these printers are that difficult. It's just um, having the nerve to open your printer up and start fiddling. It's dead anyway with a the, with the broken um, screen. It's, there's not much you can do with it. Oh, 
Jesus. He doesn't want to come out, does he? Let's go resin all through it, bugger. That's going to be difficult then. Ah, it's not getting in there. Maybe I'd open the back up and push it up, might be easier. Might do that. It's big thick glass. So it should just pop out, but um, because I've spilt resin on it at some stage, it ain't going to do it. Alright, we will take off all the sides. Go, I can't get it off that way, so it's really stuck in place. So I'm going to have to undo the whole bloody thing. Damn, I didn't want to do that. Oh well. So there's, um, just take off all the screws that you can see holding the back panel off. It's about six or seven on my so It's two on this side, two on that side. And there's at least four on the back. Maybe five. Oh, just I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, it's four. Okay, so there's just these four on the back here. I'm not, I don't think you have to take that one out. I'm not sure, we'll find out soon. That holds the um, power supply in place, but I'll find out in a minute. I might just come away with the whole back when you pull the back off. this side that coming off no this has to come out then. so this one here has to come out as well thought you better leave it in but nope. back comes off like so. See so it's um a U-shaped back that goes all around the side and everything. Be really careful of the power supplies because the capacitors there can still hold charge so you gotta be careful that you don't zap yourself on that. So this here is the um, stepper motor that twists the um, the screw that lifts the plate up and down. You got the control board down here power supply and in there is where your laser gets done so we've got to pull this off here this little um, tin little box here I'm going to pull that off so I can get my hands in there and push up on the screen so it's got screws up on the sides here so what I'm doing is there's little screws just inside here there's four of them so two on each side that will hopefully loosen that base up actually I might come in from the side here take these off so on the bottom there's two screws holding the side in here So I think this will allow me to get all the heat sink off, which is this bit here. And let me have a look inside there, and I'm just going to pull the whole thing apart. And there's two screws on the other side. And oh, come on, guys, why would you do that? Yeah. One of the screws is behind that fan. So I'm going to have to just keep the... Um, the bigger screws separately. Oh, no, they seem about the same thing. So I'm going to have to undo the damn fan to get the screw off. Ah! At least they're all the same size um, Allen key. So I've got to undo that to get a hold of this screw here, on the side here. 
it was behind the um, fan. So we've got two plugs in. So you've got two plugs in there. So there's your laser lights sitting in the heat sink there. You've got two cables holding it on and it goes up through this. Now this is a pain in the butt thing that's holding that screw in place. But I've got to try and get out somehow. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it. Okay, well let's undo the screws and just see how it goes. So So, two, four, five la lasers on each side. They look a bit like LEDs. And this is a big heat sink, so it must produce a fair bit of heat. Have a huge heat sink like that on it. And we've got the two fans on the bottom. Here, that blow on that heat sink, so that, that's there. And the heat sink is here, so the heat sink went like that. And these blow on the heat sink and cool it down while these are firing away producing all that heat so now what I'm going to do is just go up here and undo the screws holding the, um, that big tin ah, everything's in the way When I was a kid, I used to pull stuff apart like this. Mum hated it because I could never figure out how to get it back together. <laughs> but I was interested to see an you know, inquisitive little bugger. And I just wanted to see how everything worked. Um, so I pulled record players apart. And, you know, that's the only record player we had. And I'd pull watches apart. That's the only watch I have. <laughs> I want to see what it was. The minute you pull a watch apart, the springs go kaping, and then you never get your watch back together again. <laughs> but um, it gave me a career in computing and stuff. Because I was, and probably why I got into 3D printing because I was just interested in technology and you know the things that are going on in the world and how everything works and. If mum hadn't let me do that, I'd never got into computing and stuff because I would never have had the technology. Another technology. Oh, this would be a pain with a proper, with the you know normal set of Allen keys. I can only just get at it with this. And you'd be doing little half turns and having to reseed it. <laughs> oh, that would not be nice at all. So there's that. Now let's get the last one. Not down on the other side. There you go. Oh, sorry guys. I'm just doing the last one on this side. That looks like it just falls away anyway, so that's good. Okay, so that's all the screws out now. I've got to put them on the side, or I'll knock them off the table and then spend the next day or two looking for them. Okay, so what we got is somehow we're trying to get this thing out. I'm not sure how we can do it. It's not coming out. I might have to release the base. Oh, the base comes off. It's okay. I have to pull the whole base off. Oh, oh. Bugger.
do that. It's only, um, this has two screws at the side of each leg. I don't know if you can see it. Um, okay, so there's two screws. There's one here and one here, and there's two here. You can see, just, you can see the two screws here. So those screws, and there's one, there's two, two of those sort of screws on each leg. And the gather the whole bottom will come off then. Probably didn't need to undo the laser. Oh well. Oh yeah, I would have, because I'd have to get the plugs out. Yeah, sorry. You do need to undo the laser, because you've got to undo these plugs or the base won't come off. Um, it's not going to come off completely because you've got the mother, the um, circuit boards and stuff connected to it. So um, they're going to have. You don't want to. I don't want to disconnect all the cables there because I'm not sure I'm going to know how to put it back together again. I could probably figure it out, but I don't want to have to go searching for how to do it. <laughs> There's enough slack there. I'd only need a little bit of slack to get that um, enough slack just to pull it so I can get my hand in and push that screen out. So, right. Aha, cool. So, what's happened there? I'll spin around. So, you can see probably that I can pull this whole thing out. Alright, that need to come out. But anyway, I can now get my hand on that screen. And try and whack it out. Gee, it's in tight. Might pull that all the way out then. Doesn't cut any cables or anything. Okay, so this is all it is. It's just a very reflective um, cone. Now what I have to do, let's spin this around so you can see. Okay, I've got to get something in to be able to whack that out. Because it's not coming out. some reason okay, the other thing is um, this little cable here so I can undo that while I'm at it it's got a little lever here little black lever so you just need to oh, it's on here anyway I'll show you on here so it's got a little lever here like this and all you need to do is just flick it open. So flicking it open, just pulling it back. Oh, like that. Okay. Well, that should be held in that, that tight. It's just that it had resonance. So I got the old one out. I had to put a bit of force on it. You can see where it's cracked. Yeah. So that was me being stupid. So when you're putting it back in, guys, just disconnect this on here. When you're putting it back in, make sure that the ribbon cable is bending over the glass. Okay. Easy when it's got no resin to push up with it, isn't it? Okay. Now, did that have to go through a little gap in there? Okay, so when you're putting the uh, ribbon in, sorry, when you're putting this ribbon in, the ribbon of the screen in, there's a little hole little hole right where the um, ribbon would line up so it's right here just put the ribbon through the hole okay. okay so while I'm holding the screen in place I'm just going to put two of these um, 
one on each side, one at the top, one down the bottom of those little holder things in these these little guys. Just to hold the screen in place. Okay now can we get this cable connected in here so it just pushes in basically so once that's in that little black bit needs to get pushed into it as well to lock it in place so it's all connected here I put the little black bit back on as you can see just push it back on a bit that's like flipped off otherwise <laughs> it's meant to leave a but for some reason it didn't and it flicked off but then you just need to put it push it back in so it sits in place and that will hold that ribbon cable in place now we have to do put it back together get all this crap off I don't want any of that going anywhere okay so first thing I need to do probably is get this bit and oh actually what I'll do first Make sure there's no fingerprints on the inside of this. Ideally it would have been great if I didn't touch it at all. But that's not happened. So, I think I get fucking bit clean. Damn it. Because any little bits of fingerprint or stuff you got here is going to end up on your on your print. So you make sure that everything is off. And it is as clean as you can get it. Now what I'm going to do is put the, um, the reflected surface back in, the cone, the cone of reflection back in because it's going to be easy to get the bottom on do all that other stuff up make sure there's no cables when you get in the way it needs to be clear so this cable here wants to jump underneath it so make sure that's not underneath and then I just need to screw it back in place So make sure any plugs you've unplugged are plugged back in. Like, um, looks like a network cable. Yeah, it's a network cable. Okay. And then place this back over where I got it from. It's just undoing screws and putting screws back in. There's no soldering, there's no anything painful like that. Not that soldering's painful, but if you haven't done it before, it can be. A... While I'm doing it, I'm just looking at this, see if there's any loose um, plugs anywhere. It look like there is. Okay, so if I hadn't had a serious resin spill a little while ago. I wouldn't have had to pull the whole bottom off. I could have just flicked off the screen off the top, I would think. Uh, well, that's what it's meant to be you're meant to be able to do anyway. So, um, hopefully, if you need to change one because you've cracked it, you haven't had a lot of resin spill down the side and sealed it in place. <laughs> but if you have, it's not that hard to do. It just takes a bit longer than I'd planned. Okay, so now what we need to do just make sure the screen's on nice and flat rub off any fingerprints off the outside glass and put on the tape do the back back up okay so this is just isopropyl alcohol okay you want to put these on so you've got four stickers one for each side Two sides are the same. No, 
Ah, you get a spare comms cable for you if you need a spare comms cable so you can keep that. That's cool. So the one with the little notch in it is going to go where the, um, the screen cable is. What I'm going to do now is just put the stickers on like so. So it's just going to fit under the lip there. Basically, all you're doing is covering the um, screws up, providing a seal down the side there. A piece of tape down here. Oh. That will do. Put the back on, and we're done. Thing we got to remember is where all the screws go um, and if you if you ever do this and you're not quite sure best thing to do is get your phone out turn it on video mode and video yourself as you do it and show the screws that you take out of each place to the camera that way you can rewind the video and have a look where everything went when you're putting it back together if you can't figure it out so that's everything. Now I just want to test it. Now if you te when you're testing it, make sure you've got the cover closed when you do it. So I'm just going to do a clean and it should light the whole bed up. Yep, I'll just show you. Hope you can see the bed's all lit up there. Which means the display is working. Because when you do a clean, it lights the whole bed up and sets a whole um, in with that it sets a whole line of um of resin for you and just get a little plastic scoop and scoop it out okay right guys so there it is um how to replace a screen on your resin printer uh it shouldn't be as hard as that i only had to pull the whole thing apart because resin had set underneath the screen <laughs> i couldn't get the screen off so I had to get in and push it out from the inside but at least you got to see the inside of a of a um, resin printer um, if you have any uh, requests of anything you'd like me to do a video on, please let me know below. If you have any comments about today's video, let me know below and I'll do my best to answer any queries or questions you may have. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and if you made it this far, give us a like. Okay guys, I'll see you hopefully next week. Okay guys, see you later, bye. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate the support. You might like one of these or one of these. <laughs> videos um, that I've made in the past so feel free <laughs> okay thanks guys bye